Just wait Megan, it's going to get a whole lot better. Now this is what I have been working on. Oh Jesus, I can hardly wait to hear this. John Reed runs for mayor, but loses to Silvio Conti and becomes despondent. He starts making himself invaluable to Silvio in his underground mob world, engaging in bribes and doing seedy business. He eventually becomes what the Italians call a capo, an officer, soldier, etc. His new way of life becomes very shady and dangerous, and he tries to make his political dreams come true dishonestly. Wait, wait. Silvio is a kind mobster who looked out for the community. He respects the Ryan family greatly. Haven't you been paying attention to the wonderful friendship that has unfolded between Maeve and Silvio? I don't think he'd rekid her grandson into a potentially dangerous lifestyle. He does not want to divulge any part of his mafia dealings to the Ryans whatsoever. Silvio has been revealed to be the biological father of Jack Finelli. Maeve and Johnny still consider Jack like a son. Therefore, Silvio is like family now and would do anything for the Ryans. John Reed Ryan doesn't get elected mayor, so Silvio recruits him to work for the mob. John Reed can have his chance to move up the political ladder that way. Family helps one another. At least that's what we want viewers to think during the first several months of this storyline. Okay, so this mob connection is going to backfire? Of course. The story would be too fake and predictable if it didn't. Silvio trusts John with his plans to knock down Riverside Hospital in favor of a casino, but John, who is dead set against it, stages a protest and turns his back on Silvio. Rule number one, never go against the Brotherhood. When Silvio and his men find out that John has become a traitor to the mob, they threaten him to stop his organized campaign, or else they will kill a pregnant Lizzie and Owen. My God! What the fuck are you thinking? Committing a senseless murder goes against his character, and erases the wonderful image fans have had of the whole Silvio slash Jack slash Sister Mary Joel family unit. Forget that. Viewers don't want to see nice mobsters. It's too unrealistic. The whole revelation of Silvio and Sister Mary Joel being the parents of Jack Finelli was too lovey-dovey. I'm trying to get away from that. Not all mobsters look to terrorize. Can't we just enjoy Silvio's kind demeanor and good relationship with the Ryans? Absolutely not. We have to take the denizens of Riverside out of this bubble of roses and yellow brick roads that Claire Labine put them into during the last two years. Ryan's hope will be redefined for the 90s as a hip, smart, hard-edged provocative show that doesn't flinch from disaster, living on the run, sex, skin, sex, sex, Yasmin Leith's boobs, sex, Catherine Larson's ass, sex, boobs, sex, vampires, alien conspiracies, sex, boobs, sex, sex, hot drunk and Irish ladies, boobs, sex, and tiggal biddies. G-R-R-R-H. Riley. You are losing it. I want to write quality TV, not some slutty HBO special or some bad adult horror flick. We have gold standards to follow in the soap opera world. Yes. Like Robert and Anna investigating alien life and the proposed planet Lumina on GH. We must and will compete with that. Aside from the mob plot, I'm convinced that Siobhan and Fenno will be the next Robert and Anna, although in a vein different from that of Siobhan and Joe Novak. The Siobhan and Fenno pairing I am also beefing up. However, our loyal fanbase will turn us off if we go against the true being of our characters. Do you honestly think we'll finally make number one in the ratings this way? We need to pull stunts in order to make that happen. We may be on the fast track now to finally make it possible, but I don't want to wait until I'm 70 to see this happen. Remember, it only took one year from our H's premiere to shoot from the bottom of the ratings back to number 8, and we remained a consistent 7 or 8 until ABC got stupid and fired Labine and Mayer. Following that example, my goal is to make our H number 1 in 1990, and we have to start immediately. Once these major story stunts are out of the way, younger viewers will come in, improve our demos, and stay with us as we bring life in Riverside back to normal, albeit in the new James E. Riley way. And just what is this new version of normal? Less mob, more comedy, sex, boobs, sex, crack time at Ryan's bar, tits, ass, sex, Yasmin's boobs, sex, witches, Maria Patillo in skin-tight latex, dancing midgets, gay leprechauns, and Lizzie leaving John because of his dangerous mafia lifestyle. I can promise you that Ben Shelley will win her back. Over my dead body.